You're right all, uh, so I thought I'd just make this video on a gold CPR trade and really start off um, on uh, kind of just understanding uh, how this trade kind of plays out in case you're not aware and it might not have been one that you would have seen um, uh, you know at first sight but once I uh, unfold, once it's unfold you'll start to see it. So um, what we have is really levels, right? It's, it's a nice clear level. We've got resistance there, a bit of support there, and some support here as well, which is really nice for the trade. So, um, you know, there are there are three really types of traders. When you think about um, uh, uh, the type of uh, strategies there are, um, it centers around really three, which is breakout traders, retracement traders, and level traders you know they can you can add pretty much um all uh, uh indicators to um, a chart but usually the foundation would be uh, that they trade around support and resistance so <clears throat> what you're looking for is when common technical analysis right from one of these three fails yeah fails these traders so what we had was in uh, this time we had a nice level that looked like it was working yeah looked like it was working anyone who got long here right looks like it's going higher and then what it starts to do is starts to fail on these traders but what we also have is the breakout trader first of all who trades breakouts of levels now this is an hourly chart and Breakout traders would usually look for a close below a key level. That close, you've all heard it on YouTube. Everybody says it, all the popular YouTubers say it. You know, once you get a close below, then that level has gone, which is not true. And um, so what's happened is now, is that if you're a breakout trader, you're looking to trade this here, right? Getting short. Now, where you're placing your stop who knows some have tight stops but it's going to be somewhere around this this region here um, to varying degrees and then you've got this wick that comes up and then comes down yeah so this is like a nice continuation type trade on a lower time frame maybe like the 15 minute that probably would look like some sort of um yeah so it would look like a retracement trade so retracement traders are getting in on this as well it looks like he wants to go to the downside yep and it starts to you know go to the downside so there are more traders getting involved here and where they're placing their stop losses the 15 minute traders are placing their stop losses here right it's a typical you know trade yeah and what they don't know is what's coming to the right they have no idea yeah so what i'm looking for and how cpr works is understanding where first Typical traders get involved, retracement traders, breakout traders, and then understanding that these traders tend to not have uh, that much discipline and they suffer from uh, something called loss aversion bias, which is uh, losses feel worse than gains feel good. They tend to move and remove their stop losses or not even use stop losses in, uh, in a lot of cases. And, um, and so we can take advantage of the mistakes of those types of traders. So let's go back to like the one hour and so nice clear level and then we get retracement traders and breakout traders all within here expecting price to do what to pretty much go to the downside yeah that's what you go on 95 96 97 percent of of, of of trading educating videos and this is what they're teaching you so then what happens is is you get a failure yeah so the unexpected starts to happen and as the unexpected starts to happen, certain fear and biases start to kick in. So they see seeing prices go against the trader. So what they tend, what traders traders tend to do, and if you're watching this, you've done it yourself, is move and remove your stop loss. Yeah, thinking that you don't want to accept the loss. There are traders that take more risk than, than what they should have taken in that position maybe they want a bit of a losing streak and they're, maybe they're at their wits end and they can't um you know afford to take another loss otherwise they're going to blow their account etc etc right many many reasons so these traders then you know the, uh, the 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 not disciplined ones will end up moving and removing their stop losses as price starts to go against them 
get a little bit of a relief here potentially and they think oh okay phew you know prices are starting to come back all right brilliant but what eventually starts to happen is prices go against them yeah prices start to go against them and the traders you know that ended up getting involved around here to the short side again thinking that prices were going to go to the downside there would have been traders that may have decided to buy here but if you look at the overall recent trend most traders are going to be looking for trades to the short side there would have been some traders getting involved here but with this quite bearish price action yeah with that bearish price action again if you go down to maybe something like a lower time frame like the 30 minute etc let's take this off for a little bit you know that could have been just like a deeper pullback so a lot of traders would have been like taking that to there maybe that was some sort of 61.8 percent fib yep so price didn't close below said so it was just a spike up nice confluence at that level that's just a, a uh, another level for traders to get involved in and look at that look at the confluence there so you've got nice support and resistance confluence for traders to get short again so you've got resistance here you've got support support resistance you turn resistance so more traders are getting involved to the downside nice engulfing candle etc yeah so nice 61.8 percent confluence and again not knowing what was coming to the right hand side of the screen there's not too many traders not too many traders that would be buying right here yeah considering the recent downtrend again as we know what happens is is if we just go forward a little bit let's go maybe it's back to the hourly and let's go forward a little bit prices start to go against them and as prices start to go against them again these traders new traders and old traders that are still in this trade who can't accept a loss because of loss aversion are moving and removing their stop losses so what ends up happening is, is that they're captured in their position right they're captured here this is the pain phase and the further price goes away is the more they start to look at their uh, profit and loss unrealized profit and loss and they pray that if prices come down here if they could only just get out for a break-even trade which is the next best trade um, after a, a losing trade or a small loss that they will now what does this have to do with supply and demand because if you look at the supply and demand equation in this area from a technical analysis perspective what you've got is anyone who went short here in this area here let me clear the chart anyone who went short in this area in and around this area here and here if they went short in order to exit their trade at break even so they had to sell to go short they need to do what buy to exit traders who are trading levels support support resistance support resistance new traders are going to be looking at a level to do what buy and also traders if price does come down here who are trading the level from potentially up here resistance 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 if this comes down to a level this is where potentially they're going to take profit and if they sold up here then they need to buy to exit in the same way that these guys need to buy to exit here so these guys are caught capture pain and then the relief yeah which adds to the supply and demand equation in and around this level now none of us know to what extent you know, when prices exactly will turn but what we do know is that from a technical analysis perspective there should be more demand in this area yeah in this area than supply because again who trades at who's buying at lows well who's selling into a low it's not really what traders tend to do now gold obviously is a safe haven asset potentially you want to be long gold 
so this looks like in this area this whole area here and the lower i think the lower the uh the area for me this area here if price does come down into that zone there that box then that is a, a really decent trade to the uh to the upside um as i think that there'll be more demand than supply there it's a risk sentiment you know driven um, asset so if risk does come more back on then um you should get prices come down to here but if risk is off potentially and still then you may get prices reverse at that area there as well but in a risk on environment gold doesn't do well so that level may not work again it's just 50 50 it's the flip of a coin but this is how we look at technical analysis is understanding a uh, deeper understanding of you know trading against traders and understanding why there should be more supply than demand more buy orders and sell orders yeah buy orders then sell orders down here it's the reasons why we should get long at levels so um if you want to learn more about capture pain relief um, and the various different ways and different setups and patterns that we look for um, you know you can join trading 180 go to the trading 180 website um, have a free course and you can uh, sign up there and uh, have a free look at what exactly we do in the uh, discord group and in the course all right guys take care and uh, speak to you soon so if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone for X strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hardworking as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.